TLDR version of this video, the trick is to stop forcing yourself to not be hungry. Now, this of course requires a bit more of an explanation and for it we have to look at a bit of research that was already done around 40 or so years ago. And in that research, scientists took a bunch of preschoolers and one by one brought them into a room where there was a table with a chair in front of it and the kid was sat down at that table and on the table was this nice, big, juicy marshmallow. And then the kid was told that the scientist had to leave the room for a little while and if the kid could resist eating that marshmallow until he came back, the kid would not only get to eat that marshmallow right there, but a second one just like it. And then the scientist left the room and it was filmed how the kids tried to cope with this big temptation. Now, some kids, as soon as the scientist left the room, the marshmallow was gone. Some others, they started biting their nails while staring at that marshmallow or pulled on their pigtails everything they could do to force themselves to not eat it. Now at the end of it all, about one third of the kids managed to not eat the marshmallow and two thirds failed. And the big question was, what did the kids that resisted the temptation do differently to succeed? And the answer was, they totally occupied their minds with something different. different. Some of them, they simply stared around the room, started singing or whatever else, everything they could do to keep their minds off that marshmallow. And those that failed usually were those for whom the marshmallow was everything there was in their minds. And the big lesson out of this is, many people think that when it comes to resisting temptation, you have to be like a superhuman temptation resistance superhero that can stare down a temptation into submission and then come out as the big winner, where in reality, the trick to resisting a temptation is to keep your mind completely away from it and occupy yourself with something else. If your mind is kept on the temptation, you are very likely to give in to it. So what can you take away from this research uh, for your efforts in losing weight, eating less and all that is related to that? The number one and most important thing is to stop forcing yourself to not eat. Because the more you try to force yourself to keep from eating, the more likely you are to eat because food and eating is all that's in your attention then. And something that is very, very vivid in your attention, you are more likely to give in. So keep your attention onto something that completely fills it up and keeps your mind totally preoccupied with something other than eating. You can play um, computer games to do that, you can read a book, you can watch an engaging television show, you can go walking, you can call someone on the phone, whatever it is, as long as it totally diverts your attention from the act of eating. So instead of directly enforcing your rule to not eat, you totally take your attention away from eating. Number two is for those kids in that experiment, that marshmallow was sitting right in front of them. They could see it, maybe even smell it. And something that gets to our senses, sm seeing, smelling, hearing, touching and all that, is much harder to resist than something that is completely absent and doesn't intrude our attention. So if you have sweets on your desk where you work or sweets on the table where you watch television and all that, you are more likely to eat them simply because you notice them. And that of course means keep things you don't want to eat in places where you won't immediately notice them.
And this concludes this video. I hope it was of a bit of help to you. As always, thank you for watching. Until next time, bye bye.